from my everybody today is a very special day because I have my belt. Finally, I have not had my freaking belt in months. You can go back on my page. The last time I even mentioned owning a belt was probably so long ago. But you know what? Today it's here and I have it. And I'm so excited because that means I can squat more and not be freaked out. So we're going to put 185 on there. I didn't put it on yet. I was supposed to, but I didn't think that I don't use a belt on purpose. But yes, but no, because the reason I didn't use a belt is just because I didn't have it. Not because like I didn't want to. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not that girl. Like, yes, I need to use a belt. Just like everybody else. So basically, it's just gonna, I don't know how tight to put it yet because I haven't worn it in a long time. But right here, hopefully that's tight enough. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I think that might not be tight enough. No, we'll try it. We'll give it a try. No, we'll, we'll go tighter. I don't even know. I can't even get it. Okay, there. I get it one more tighter. I hate wearing belts because they make me look too It's very dough girl. So here's something I'm going for an 85. I haven't done in a while, but I'm feeling confident because of the belt. Maybe that's false confidence. I hate squatting that much. Oh my god. It wouldn't come off for a second. Squatting so hard. Okay, so I don't really know hypertrophy science behind squatting heavy. Is it me? I just feel like, okay, every you squat, the more muscle you're gonna gain. But who knows if that's true, to be honest? I don't know. Some days I'm just like, dude, why? Maybe I should just not squat. Well, what else am I gonna do? I mean, I could hack squat, but. I'm short. Hack squats never go low enough. I always never can hit depth, so regular squatting is just fine for me. That did make my back feel better. I'm trying to like, I don't know. I, I've told you guys I've been on the cut for a long time, and I want to speed it up, not like, oh, like I'm impatient. It's just that I want to go on a cut break for like at least a few weeks or something but um basically the hardest thing about weightlifting and just like all those trying to see progress and stuff is definitely eating that is the hardest part it's super hard to have self not even have self-control more it's hard to accept that like you can't just binge out on foods that's not something you you can do I can't just have eight brownies in one sitting that simple fact to me is hard to accept because it's like I want to, but then at the same time, it's for the greater good, which is the, being healthy and being beautiful. But you know what? Because it's the thing. I think it's completely fine to eat your cravings, but I think like overindulgence is a big problem for me. For you, maybe not. So don't get all pressed in my comments. A lot of people get upset when I use the word like fat or like obese and things like that. I guess I can. I could steer away from the word fat, but obese, that's a medical term. And technically, I'm obese. Medical term. And so that's why I'm currently on a weight cut, because I don't want to be. Like, it's that simple to me. And I know, like, I don't go off BMI. I say my BMI thing is like a joke. I don't actually listen to BMI, because even when I was in seventh grade, I had a little weight BMI, and I was not. But... My actual weight, like, I know it's too much. Height to weight ratio is just... But I don't know, man. If I'm 175, and I'm still, like... I feel like I look pretty lean, but... I'm not pretty lean, but, like, I feel like I'm leaning out. That's what it is. Don't get in my comments roasting me for saying I look clean, please. But my last belt popped while I was wearing it. So, like, literally broke. Luckily, it wasn't while I was squatting, but... It happened. September 2.
But when I used to spell, definitely feel like more comfortable to squat. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't keep going. I'll be fine. Oh, jeez, I'm tired though. I'm pretty proud of myself. A lot of weight squat for your reps. I think I might lower the weight after this next set. I'm only doing four sets though, so it's kind of like, but something that I've come to realize as I've gotten older, I don't care at all to make myself look it's like a lot of girls look like products if that makes sense like i used to feel like wearing makeup is kind of like the full it makes you feminine if that makes sense as i get older i just try to like accept the fact that like just me who a woman makes me feminine you know like i don't have to wear makeup every day because i've been feeling insecure like that I don't wear makeup to the gym and that I don't do my hair. But it's just when you realize that, um, I don't know, I still, it's not like people look at me and think, like, oh my god, she looks like a boy. Like, I know nobody thinks that. But for some reason, I think that. I'm just like, oh no, I'm not feminine enough. And yeah, there's like times when I do want to look really feminine. But I just, like, to me, well, first of all, I wake up way too early. If I woke up later, I probably would wear makeup just a little bit to the gym. I don't know if that's really true, though, to be honest, because I never have before. So I don't know, but I would. it's not that I wouldn't like to. It's more that I don't have time, and I'm, like, trying to accept that. I feel like a lot of people get touchy on that subject, and it's really easy to be like, oh, you're picky when it comes to talking about that. But I don't view it as, like, oh, you shouldn't. I view it as, like, it's your choice, and if you don't, that's also okay. You know, like, it's not a bad thing. And that you don't dress like feminine because you wear makeup. Just just my little tidbit on that. Nobody wants to hear me getting political. Did you guys see, like, I barely made it back to the rack? That was scary. No, I'll get one more set with six. I really need a lower. I think I can just do six again. Sometimes I consider, like, maybe... I guess I don't think I know what I'm doing, but I'm also not sure. It was the weirdest show in our life. So, hopefully, we're gonna be able to do some sort of back squat now, but we might have to do leg press. I don't know anymore, guys. I'll just see you guys when we end up. So, for the next thing we're doing, get you guys real low because we're gonna do goblet squats. I almost never do these anymore. These used to be the exercise for me literally these would be my ride or die I couldn't live without them but now it's kind of like eh I don't really need to do them um mostly because if I want to target my quads that badly I'm just gonna do a heavy leg extension honestly that's just kind of how I feel about it so yeah um you know what? You know what else? Yeah, yeah, let's be crazy. This is gonna be a quad day. I already I haven't done any hamstrings yet. I'm just gonna go for it, call this a quad day, to be honest. So hopefully because it's a quad day, I'll be able to do some um I'll do four sets of this, two sets of leg extension, I'll be all done. Okay. Yeah. See that's what I'm flexible. I'm just gonna stop there. <laughs> Oh god. That was honestly really horrible. It was a good set, but eh, that was hard. I always forget that lifting weights is hard. I could just sit in a ball right now. I think I'm just gonna stay here to be honest. My energy levels are so low because of my cut. Honestly, I just can't wait until I do a maintenance break. Can't wait. I'm gonna shoot for four weeks. I'm gonna do a maintenance break. So, for the next three weeks, I'm gonna try my best to really be strict so that I can get down to like as much weight as I can lose before I have to do a maintenance break for a while. Or I do a maintenance break for like a month. <sighs>
<sighs> oh my god, dude. Thinking about doing too much of this is scary. I know you're not supposed to sit down in between sets. Dude, I'm so tired. I'm not even just like, I gotta give myself a break. You can't always be on your number one. You can't always be 100%. I'm at like a constant 60, to be honest. Oh, speaking of 60, this is 60 pounds. I didn't mention how much weight it was. But yeah, 60. It's like, okay. This is like the regular weight I do it with. It'd be cool to do it with like a, an 80 or like 100. But that would be under the assumption that I can carry an 100 pound dumbbell all the way over here. So. Only one more, you guys. And we get to go to sweet leg extension. I heard of this leg extension suits. Gentle. I back hurts, I'm not gonna lie. And the only reason I stopped doing quad days is because of back pain. I used to get like major back pain from quad days. But, but since I'm doing this quad day, it means I have to do glutes and hamstrings. On what day is it? Thursday. Okay. Honestly, that was a pretty good set, but we're gonna go to lay attention now. So I'm gonna put all this stuff in. I put 45 on both sides of the two's machine because it's normally not taken, but today it was actually taken. For once, it normally isn't, but it was. So, the ankle leg extension, honestly, 45 might have been too heavy, but we're just going to try our best. Okay. One more time. And then I get to do my cardio and go home. Okay, I'm done. All right, you guys. Come video time. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite workouts I've had in a while. Normally, I have to be pretty rushed, but today I didn't feel like I had to be too rushed, so I think that's why I enjoyed it a little bit more. But yeah. Also, my quads are looking pretty good if I do say so myself, so that's something to be happy about. It's looking a little better, too. I think we'll call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Probably gonna be an on day. I think we'll do biceps, shoulders, and triceps instead of just the same old biceps, triceps, just because when else am I gonna do shoulders? Okay, see you guys tomorrow.